Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale tips and tricks video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to get more solo wins in Season 8 and how to get solo wins with a decent amount of kills depending on what you're going for. You know, it all depends. Some people want just to get the win. Some people want to get a 10 kill win. Some people don't really care as long as it's at least 5 kills. It all depends. But we're going to talk about that in this video. If you guys could drop a like, I'd very much appreciate that. Smash that like button and we're getting right into it. Oh my goodness. Great, great rush route off the start. I land on this weapon. I fall arm up and look at this an easy peasy two kills everyone loves to land on the top of that trump tower or whatever you want to call it uh big bertha whatever whatever people call it uh land if, on this building right and the thing with this one is you can rush up there and if you are fast at landing and i get a good land like that it can be some easy easy kills early game so like i was saying smack that like button let's go for 1500 likes subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and we're going to walk through this gameplay and then when it gets to more late game talk about some tips that really really matter to win in late game in season eight because that's something that i know I, like it, it's a lot different it, it, it's been changed quite a bit especially with the gameplay changes and we'll talk about all that so let's get right into it so two kills coming out here of course i just loot up as much as i can i'm at 180 i choose to hold the slurp here um just because i mean some people would use it before you run into the fight but because of how the game has changed where you get the plus 50 for getting kills. You can play it a little bit differently. Right here, I hit this guy for 67, which is a good start. I move in. He, of course, builds right there. I hit him once again, and I see that it's white health. I see that he's very low. So at this point, I just choose to spray down and get the kill that way. And then, of course, I have the slurp for after, which is perfect. Next, I get a, sort of a late third party from this guy who comes in here. I win that first battle and, and get the shotgun shot in on him. And then he gets control of the wall. So when they get control of the wall like this, I take control of the ramp. And you see when he opens up the wall like that, I get a hit in on him. And every single time right here, I can just sort of wait like this. And a good player won't open up, up that wall, but an impatient player like this guy obviously the black links right there open up that wall and it's literally a free kill so if you see if you're ever in that position on the other side of it and you see someone hanging in there um there definitely are other ways to approach it but that's why i think honestly like turtling up or boxing up is a little bit strong right now um and that's how i was able to win that game obviously i wasn't really turtling he just by the time he approached me i was you know recovering from the other kill so next we're over here four kills and still in tilted obviously you can get quite a few kills in tilted this guy i was trying to listen to his footsteps and uh he was basically i mean a free kill someone crouched underneath who uh wasn't too hard to get a kill on of course upgrade my guns and one thing you will notice with this season is there's, you spend a lot more time with wow the a rare snipe from the goblin and completed that challenge for sniper rifle eliminations too uh and another challenge there as well so yeah smack a like for that because how often do you see me hitting that beautiful snipe with a heavy sniper uh, i do carry them sometimes i prefer uh, other things like the glider Rita play which we'll talk a lot about later uh, but yeah nice snipe there but what i was saying is that with the ARs, there's a lot more common and a lot more gray and green ARs out there, and it, you're it, it's a lot harder to find because um, basically they just lower the drop chances, and that's one of the changes that happened as well. Anyway, here we're leaving Tilted with six kills, and this is one thing that will happen with a lot of Tilted games. If you clear out Tilted and you know the, the zone pushes you the other way, a lot of it will just be running with not too many kills. So you can see here, I fast forward the gameplay, and I'm basically just sprinting to the zone. By the way, shout out to this skin, uh, obviously a super funny skin in this game, and I. I shoot on this guy and then I'm building up here. I want to build up with triple reinforce or double reinforce, whatever you call it, um, because I want to make sure that I'm not being shot down. That would just, you know, I, I don't want to lose high ground unless, of course, I drop down right below like that and go for the finish. You, know, you, you usually don't want to lose high ground unless you are going to try to finish the fight. When you're dropping down from high ground, you are, you probably have already done some damage to the enemy or you've got them in a vulnerable position and you want to finish off and win that fight. And then, of course, I'm able to use one of these drift boards and just skirt, skirt right into the zone, um, which these things are are amazing for transportation absolutely incredible and uh, definitely a good um, introduction or addition to the game I guess that would be the right wording um, so you can see here one thing I will 100% recommend this mid to late game Ma if you want to win the game max out your wood maxing out your wood is easy right but max out the brick and max out the metal. And the reasoning behind that is because 1,500 mats is not very much um, compared to the 3,000 we used to be able to hold before. And it's very, very vital that not like before when I would just say, you know, max out your wood and have hopefully have uh, quite a bit of the other ones. You want to have a full maxed out mats, sort of like a pop-up cup game because it's the pop-up cup rules in the normal game going into the late game. And also another thing you want to have is a glider redeploy. Glider redeploy is an item that late game I think is almost necessary. Uh, and you'll see there, 
this is an interesting decision that I make, is I actually drop my SMG to go with double shield and glider. Now, uh, you could either go with, usually you'll see me going with like AR, shotgun, SMG, minis, and then the glider. Um, my reason here was just because I, I thought that, you know, having that those extra 50 pots could be nice as well. So I tried to mix it up a little get bit. But you can see here, trying to pull out my SMG, I'm like, wait, I don't have an SMG. And I have to go to the AR to spray stuff down. But it, it eventually does work out. The thing with that is just, it's always hard to know, like, if you go back and forth from carrying an SMG to not carrying one, when you are and when you aren't. And that's basically when I got this shotgun, I'm like, okay, now this is a shotgun I could be more comfortable with. Don't really need an SMG because I can just shoot with this, build up, and if they're really weak, the AR can spray them down. So um, I, I don't know if you would carry double shields at this point. If I had a P90, I'd probably drop one of the shields that I'm carrying. But I just had so much good stuff at this point where I'm like, glider redeploy is so important late game, and you will see why. I'm also stacking up uh, launch pads or jump pads, actually, not launch pads. Um, well, I guess it's the same thing, right? But basically because of... Uh, all the kills I was getting and here we are top four and this is when I'm moving in I want to take a high spot on this uh, map and and the reason behind that is because that like right here you see I had a base up there is because I have the glider redeploy being knocked down is not a big deal however I go for the fight on this player um, and luckily jump out there you never want to be in a box with a player when they have their builds out still if you think that player is somewhat smart because of course the trap is coming next or if you are in you want to be on the other side of the box so if they do trap you can still dodge it or you can smack the trap right away so this guy's obviously turtling up top four and this is where it's not smart for me to put all my eggs in one basket and go for this kill because we have to move soon there's so many other people around here there's still a trap down there i'm like you know th there's not really much point for me to put push overly hard on this guy i'm gonna spray down but i want to keep my mats and now i'm getting pressured for another from another player and this is what's beautiful about glider redeploy i can build above him i don't even have to secure that because um I, if he was to shoot at me i would just back up sort of and once again i'm just building up super high and i'm not really too concerned there i catch myself because using the glider redeploy while it is super nice it also exposes yourself to being shot at quite a bit and it's more for like i like to have it more for either dropping and then activating it right near the ground but don't do don't make it too close so you get killed, right? Um, and obviously you can see, this is why there's a lot of other players around here. And um, I'm just going to take my time. I'm, I'm using quite a bit of mats here, but I have these jump pads. And even though I have the redeploy available, I'm like, might as well use these because I have them, right? And they give you extra... Um, extra height and make you be able to glide around quicker of course these players who have to rotate other ways um, are in a much worse position than i was in just because of me having those jump pads but here's the key even if i didn't have those jump pads if i had the redeploy i could just ramp 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 up and jump off it wouldn't have been as effective but i could have done it again and that's what i do once again here i rotate over i set myself up and i'm like okay okay, I'm in the, the zone and I rotated early and I'm waiting on players to come to me. This is a great position to be in when you have a glider redeploy. And when you're in a solo match like this, I'm like, okay, let's just base up. And I'm basically chilling out and third party in all of these fights, which are the people fighting with the zone on them. I'm in the most comfy, you know, cozy position right here, getting some nice damage in when I don't really have too much risk of taking damage other than, of course, being shot at by one of the sides, which speaking of the sides, I cover up that side. Um, I don't have my other side cut covered up, which I honestly probably should have watching this gameplay back um, because that player could have been over on the right. Um, but even when you do that, you know, uh, peeking is always an issue, but you can see I check over to the right. Doesn't seem like there's much over there. Um, and getting damage in right here. And this is once again not putting all the eggs in one basket. Some people might try to rush this guy right here, which you could do that. I could rush this guy. I could get the 10 kill, and then I could maybe kill the other guy for the 11 kill. Or I can just play it safe and know that hey, I have nine kills. One more kill is 10. I pretty much only need to kill the last guy. And I'm also noticing this guy's mats. He's using brick right now. I'm also using brick. So we're both running. You know, everyone usually usually goes wood, brick, and then metal. Right, the way it's set up with the automatic. Uh, switching uh, in the setting. So basically, once again, I'm chilling up here because the reason I can chill up here without no, without looking down and seeing what are we standing on? Are we standing on one piece of wood or are we, st are we standing on top of like a, a real secured built house with Wi-Fi or something like that? You know, it doesn't matter because if this gets shot down, I just go, oh, that sucks. And I redeploy out of here. And even right here, I'm, I'm basically scouting out and then I redeploy out. Um, this time, I didn't really even need to use the uh, jump pad just because of the, the ground where it was at. And, and once once again, I'm in the position where the player is rushing into me. And this is all because of the comfort of having the redeploy and also the nice, you know, the, the nice, uh, 
I guess the niceness of having the jump pads. Right there, I mess up my builds. This guy actually gets high ground right above me for a second, which really does suck. Luckily, I'm able to uh, sort of build up, and he ends up jumping off. And another nice thing about redeploy that you can surprise people is landing at a tree usually isn't convenient. There's not much ways down, but you can always just fly down whenever you want. So I land in the tree right here so I can take my time, reload my weapons, decide on what I'm going to do next. Notice, you know, look out, basically notice, and you can see that's what I'm doing here. And I'm looking out and I'm noticing, okay, this guy's building with metal as well. So we're both fairly low, right? There's a perfect example of you don't want to mess that up, but it, you know, try at your own risk, but activating the glider right on time. And then once again, we get into another build fight. I take the high ground up on this player again. He's gliding away and I can get some shots in from that distance and finish off the game. So that was a really, really good matchup. You can see a lot of good players will be carrying glider redeploys late game. And it's sort of a disadvantage if you're not carrying it. So I would recommend either carrying probably single shields with it, or if you wanted to do double shields, maybe take out the SMG like I did, although that's a lot more risky. Most of the time I'll usually go AR, shotgun, SMG, minis, and then the glider redeploy if I'm like top 10, top five. Thanks for watching guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and then hopefully you'd have like a campfire also to heal up your health if you did get damaged with that. And then of course, 50 health or shield per kill. Thanks for watching guys. Drop a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one and I'm out. Peace.